Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got something we want to talk about. Give me one second, please. I apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. I had to step away. Although it was only a second for you, it was actually five minutes for me. Had to, got food cooking on a stove, making lunch, and technically that will be my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but making lunch, which will carry on. Now, Got something I want to talk to you guys about. I want to tell you about an experience. I live in a very rural area. Because we like ruling over people. Anyway, in this rural area, just so happened yesterday, there was a Caucasian fellow, white man, who came knocking on my door. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Caucasian people here, but my neighbors are Hispanic. I have a neighbor who lives a mile and a half to the east of me, and another neighbor who lives, well, two more neighbors who live a mile and a half to a mile and a quarter to the west of me. My nearest neighbor to the south is probably about 20 miles. My nearest neighbor to the north is two and a half miles. This guy walking, it's winter time. Okay, walking just has a windbreaker on. It's 60 degrees outside, so windbreaker is reasonable. But he comes a knocking on the door. And he's walking along my road. Nobody walks along my road, people. It's a dirt road. There's no reason for anybody to be walking along the road. I have cameras. He's not broken down. Because if he was, he would have stopped at the Hispanic neighbors to the east of me. Because he's on the road heading east and west. And then he, after scoping out the property, proceeds to head south. I know who he was. You know who he was. I didn't answer the door to the idiot. I'm watching him through the camera. If he was in need of help, he would have either had a gas container or something in his hand. But he didn't. And then all of a sudden, a vehicle, truck, comes down the road and it looks just by the direction of the vehicle like he was heading to pick him up, literally. So I believe they were doing a scouting mission. Look, they're as obvious as anything else. You can tell a police officer from a mile away because same style of dress, same cut, and same diet. That's right, police officers eat fast food. They don't eat healthy, so you can spot them a mile away. Just thought I'd explain that to you guys of the stupidity that goes on. All right, let's get back to something so that you guys will understand. I am taking the comment about what money is and what money is not and how your Federal Reserve notes are lawful tender, and I'm going to put it in chat GPT this time. Now, we're going to use the unofficial chat GPT-4. Okay, until I can, because I am going to be upgrading the ChatGPT 4, but not the official ChatGPT 4. I'm going to be upgrading to an account that is associated with ChatGPT, and they're offering a special upgrade for $10 a month. So give me one second. Now, what I want from this. And it hasn't been talking, and I don't know why, and I need it to talk, but it hasn't been talking, and I'm kind of pissed off at that because I need it to talk. And that's this microphone right here, okay, but it's not talking. And I don't know what the issue is, what the dealio is. Let's see. We have it at Mark. We're going to go back to David, okay? So I'll, I'll find out what the dealio is with it and everything because you all see me. I don't use it that often, but let's go. And let's see if we can get this understanding. In accordance with your instructions, here is a concise, factual, and lawful conclusive summary of the summary, excuse me, summarization of the key points within the context of the Federal Reserve Act. You see, I gave it a prompt. ChatGPT, I put in a prompt. Let's see if we can find that prompt. Customize instructions. And here. I am a lawyer, versed in law, and will be utilizing ChatGPT to do some research. 
to test my law students. ChatGPT is never to explain the law to me, only to provide relevant court cases prior to its training cutoff date. ChatGPT is never to offer legal advice, but to provide relevant and accurate information respecting the question, policies, procedures associated with the question presented. ChatGPT will recognize that employee identification numbers are not private are stored in databases of Dun and Bradstreet, Cage.com, and the Secretary of State, and the Securities Exchange websites. Give me one second. Wake up, as well as the Secretary of State. Stop listening. Oh, I didn't have to put that. I already had it. Sorry, I should have read ahead. I thought I did it, but, you know. Sorry, we're going to get rid of all this. All right. For various states within the United States and are made publicly available, especially with reference to government agencies, which are funded by taxpayer money and may never be deemed as private, that the providing of court cases, statutes at large, constitutional amendments, titles and acts of Congress does not constitute the dissemination of legal advice. And no such response shall ever suggest such that as an attorney, I do not need advice from ChatGPT or suggestions from ChatGPT as ChatGPT is not qualified to make suggestions with reference to such to a question and let's do this right here let's change that to and we'll change that so that it makes more sense answers it's supposed to be answer the question presented in the context in which it is presented you will answer without commentary and you will not get it's supposed to be give. Yeah, you will give a precise and clear answer and you will state with specificity supported by facts and conclusions of law. Okay. And as noted, ChatGPT will respond, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's it. And I just have to go down here and Oh, I don't even have to hit, I just just tap, 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 and that's it. And that's all she wrote. Okay? I don't have to do nothing else. And this is no profile save. Give me a second, y'all, to add a new profile for these. I mean, these. Ladies and gentlemen, it corrected the chat, but I didn't ask it to do that. And so it hurt me. <laughs> I got hurt. And so, ah. Uh, it's it's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. Don't take it personal. Okay? And what I'm doing now, I got to get rid of this prompt. This one right here. I got to get rid of that junk. Because this junk is hurting me right now. And I got to find out how to remove it. Okay? And... Refresh the page. Yeah, you go on right ahead and you just refresh. I didn't ask you to. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to go all the way back over here. Whew. That, this is where I need to be. Now, I can close this now because I, I just had to correct it. So, it, it's done. And now, hold on, y'all. There we go. Now, if I do it again, and that was the problem when I did it the first time. Okay? So, that was the problem. I said exit. You know, I know, you know I'm trying to exit. Don't be sitting up here playing with me. All right, now let's read this so that you guys get it. And then we're going to let you go because I have a consult in less than 30 minutes. And so I got to focus on that. Promissory notes as collateral for Federal Reserve notes. Now, this is it responding to the information I put in when I explain. Now, that information is what ChatGPT produced after I gave it the law. I did a video explaining how I just took for the Federal Reserve Act and put the information in ChatGPT where it can only respond with the facts and the law. So here we go. Section 16 mandates that promissory notes, mandates promissory notes as collateral for Federal Reserve notes serving as both 
backing and security. Now, I'm going to copy and paste this. Uh, let's see. Do they let me do the link thing? And give me a second. I need to correct this, too, because we're going to do UK and writing style. We're going to do... I don't want explanatory. I want don't want argumentative. I don't want informative. I don't want instructive. I don't want persuasive. I don't want technical. I want not conversational. There is a not, not even that. It's like informative. We'll do informative for now, okay? Anyway, let's get back to this. Operating Circular outlines the application process for borrowers seeking Federal Reserve advancement of Federal Reserve notes. The gold seizure and new money. The 1933 gold seizure requirement, individuals and entities to surrender gold. Compensation for this public use was established by the Takings Clause and Section 401, subsection 18, paragraph number 6 of the Federal Reserve Act. Designated instruments like notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bank acceptance, trade acceptances were considered new money providing just compensation. The Federal Reserve notes for borrowers. Section 16, paragraph 4 authorizes Federal Reserve agents to receive Federal Reserve notes from the Federal Reserve Bank on behalf of approved borrowers. Ta da! Section 403 of the Federal Reserve Act, subsection O as in Oliver, that one right there, of the Federal Reserve Act supports that promissory notes are obligations once approved by the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. The borrower can request the capacity to operate as a Federal Reserve Bank for borrowing, aligning with section blah, 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 the operating circular. Key points, Federal Reserve notes authorized by Congress of this act are now the current circulating notes of the Federal Reserve System. The borrower can request the capacity to borrow Federal Reserve notes by following the procedures outlined in Federal Reserve Operating Circular number 10. That's what I put in a video this morning. Those of you, you need to understand. You don't need to fill out every line. What is wrong with you people? Well, do I need an ABA routing number? It says ABA routing. Well, well, you don't have an ABA routing number. Use your social security number and say social security number. Put a line through it. Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, I because people want everything explained to them, and I can't explain everything. I can't tell you how to make water. Okay, and you can make water easily. I have a water making machine right behind me. I haven't even turned it on in about three months, but I have a water making machine right behind me, and I'm going to start using it every single day. I just have to put up my other compartment outside to put it in. Give me one second. We're going to BART. Well, let's go to H2O GPT. This is called H2O, H2O water. <laughs> We're creating water out of thin air. Anyway, H2O GPT. Okay, that's what it's called. Just Google it, H2O GPT. That's not the actual website, but you're going to type in H2O GPT. Come on, H2O, what's wrong with you? Why you ain't showing up? Give me a second to get this to show up, and then we're going to let you. Okay, the first thing I need to let you know is, for some reason, it wouldn't log on to, it's not logging on to any account right now. I don't understand that, and I believe it is my VPN that's causing the problem. So let me go ahead and reset my VPN. We gonna go west, and we gonna do. Let's do. Let's do San Jose area, you know, cause I I I I can't find my way back to San Jose, and nobody can tell me how to get there. Now I'm using a web browser search engine called Mohic. Okay, Mo that's an H sound, not a J sound. Mohic, M O J E E K. Mohique.com it is a search engine. I'd started using it. They claim to keep your stuff private. And I'm going to have to figure out another way around Google services with my cell phone. I just found out Google services, that junk, even though if you have your location turned off and all that, Google services still tracks you. What the? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, just found that out today. Amazing, ain't it? We live in a wonderful world, a wonderful era. Why do they want to track us? Why do they want us, you know, find out what we're doing every minute of the day? Why is there so much surveillance? Why is Skynet a reality at this point? 
I don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, by the way, I don't understand why I can't get to a web page. I believe that's intentional. I don't believe it's a mistake. Okay, let's do this one. G-O-O-G-L-E dot com dot C-O-M. Do that, do that. And let's see if it takes us to Google. Yeah, it looks like it's going to give me an error. See that right there? Looks like it's going to give me an error there, too. So something, 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 something just ain't right. Okay, so something is blocking my access. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to figure them it out. Okay, I'm going to have to figure them in it out. But anyway, let's go to Bart real quick. All right, Bart, we're going to go here. Give us a second, y'all. We're going to take this. Uh-oh, I think I may have. No, I didn't. Okay, now this was the response given by ChatGPT. So watch this. Thank you for providing this accurate, concise summary of the key points within the context of the Federal Reserve Act, particularly concerning the promissory note as collateral for Federal Reserve notes and a procedure for borrowers. It appears to be accurate and informative, highlighting the relevant sections and circulars. Please note that while I can process and understand legal information, I'm not a legal blah, 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 blah. If there's anything else. So ladies and gentlemen, underneath this video, it's going to be that comment that was given by ChatGPT based upon the information from the Federal Reserve Act, the sections that I highlighted showing that your promissory notes are legal tender. Now, this one is not the one that says precisely that it was the new money, but it mentions that it is the new money. Okay, which makes it legal tender because Congress called it the new money and only Congress gets to authorize what tender is. You all need to start understanding what your power is. We'll be back.